guys. Welcome to my weekly Facebook Live show. I'm Jen Burson. I'm the founder of Generation PR. I've uh, been running my PR agency for 15 years, and we are in Los Angeles. We support beauty and cosmetics, baby and kids, and health and wellness brands. Um, let's see what else. And I'm a former lawyer. I switched careers, started my agency, and then about seven years ago, I decided to package my expertise in an effort to help more people, um, people that couldn't afford our retainer services. And I created the kind of um, umbrella program, um, Generation Academy. And the very first thing that I launched was a PR program teaching um, entrepreneurs, brands and experts how to do their own PR. And since then, I have pivoted somewhat and realized the audience that I can best serve are PR professionals like me. So people looking to really hone their PR skills, to learn how to provide the most amazing service to their clients, and then launch, grow, and scale a profitable PR agency using this framework that I've developed, the Path to Profitability Framework. Um, and I've been running those programs. I have the Agency Accelerator for the last two years, and I have the Pitch Lab, which we just launched last month, not even a month ago. And that is a membership experience, and we have 60 plus members in the last month. The reaction has been incredible. I'm so excited. And we have all of these ideas brewing to make it better. They're not brewing. We're actually implementing to make that experience even better for our clients. And the reason I tell you all of this is because I want you to see both sides of my business. Okay. I want you, who's here? Guys, who's here? I can see, I can, it's hard because, so you guys know I use a broadcasting software called Ecamm and it's hard for me to see comments. Ryan, hold on one sec. Ryan, your teacher has something happening right now. You left early. Go log back into Zoom. There's like a whole thing. You're not done yet. You're not done, bro. Um, come back on. Sorry, guys. This is like, okay, so I had a call with my audience, my um, agency, or who was it? It was, yeah, it was our agency accelerator students yesterday, and... It just so happened that all of the women on the call were in both programs, which is so, so incredibly cool to me. And we were talking about um, building an audience. I'm going to get into this discussion. And a lot of the talk was around being yourself and being authentic. And I was like, listen, I get on these Facebook Lives. My kids are home. It's friggin' chaos. Um, hi, Jane. Oh, Sarah. Okay, cool. Aga, yeah, Aga was on the call yesterday, as so you guys know. Uh, you know, just be yourselves. And it's like, it, probably a couple years ago, I would have been mortified to be screaming at my kid to get back on Zoom. But this is the reality of the world we're in. We're all in the exact same boat. We're having client calls. Kids are coming in. I have video calls. Hi, Gina. And the kids are like wandering behind me, just like looking at the camera, like, here I am, trying to be funny. Um, but the reality is the more honest and authentic you are, it's like that people are either drawn to you and they're like, I like this person, they're they're real, or they're just like, this isn't for me. And I personally don't want anybody in my world that if they're if I'm not for you, then then move on. I don't care, right? Um, so the reason I say all of this and explain my business, the entire kind of um, world of offerings that I have in my business is because I want you to also start to think about ways that you can add additional offerings to your business. The topic for today is leveraged offers. So I have my agency and we are a retainer only business. We don't do project based and I don't do hourly. The hourly Rebellion. Hi, Erica. Erica and I were just texting one second ago. She's the latest member of the Agency Accelerator. Hi, Brittany. Um, the, let's see, what was I saying? So the retainer side of the business is my agency. And that's the one I've been running for 15 years. And that's where we support brands with physical products. We serve billion dollar companies. And initially I thought people would want um, expertise on how to do PR themselves, 
but really people weren't asking me for that. I got more people asking me, how did you start your agency with no, um, with no, uh, experience, contacts, training, nothing. So I started mentoring women for free and was like, this is so awesome. I love this so much. But I had all, I was working with people all over the world, which was so cool. And it was like calls at different times and they were at different stages. And I thought if I could just put some structure around this, I can help more people. And it would be easier for me too, because I was doing all of this and it was like, well, I'm serving this person and I'm paying a nanny to watch my kids so that I could talk to this person for free. So I started asking them, you know, would you guys be open to paying for this expertise? And they were like, yes, we wouldn't have expected anything else. And I was like, oh, okay. So then I, it dawned on me, that's what people wanted to know from me. And that's where this profitable PR pros side of my business was born. It was really listening to my target audience and hearing from them what they wanted and how I could best serve them. So one of the things I'm going to talk to you about today is like the number one thing you need to, to consider to get started is leads, right? You need an audience because first of all, you need people to sell things to, but also that audience can serve as a test market. And they'll, if you ask them what they want, they'll tell you. I jumped into it thinking, well, I know how to do PR and I could break it down and show everyone how to do PR, but not PR pros, which is what we're teaching now. Brands with physical products that couldn't afford us or experts that wanted to be thought leaders and wanted to use the media to leverage their, you know, kind of uh, get their message out to more people. And I never really asked anyone if that's what they wanted from me. I just assumed. But that wasn't what the audience wanted. And so once I started listening and it really took me building an audience first, which I'm going to give you um, a kind of great and expensive free, actually free way to do that. Um, but the overall idea is a leveraged offer. So there's so much, oh my God, this is such an exciting time. This is still like the early days of e-learning, online learning. Um, I just read today that Masterclass raised like, I don't know if it was like a hundred million or, or more. Um, and everybody is on Zoom. My kid is on, you heard me screaming at him to get on Zoom right now to join his class. Um, I think this whole concept of remote learning, tapping into people's expertise, probably a year or two ago, people were like, oh, that's not effective or that isn't an effective way to to learn or do anything. And now we're seeing schools at all levels, including universities in the now and even in the fall, having all of their programming online. And it doesn't take away from that in-person experience. And, you know, I'm sad for everybody going off to college who doesn't get to go and live in the dorms in the fall. And that's such an important part of the college experience. But in terms of retaining and gaining the material, we're all seeing that e-learning is such an effective way to do that. So I would be remiss if I didn't share with you that side of my business and that kind of journey it took for me to get here. Um, I feel now more than ever as if I finally, finally figured out who I serve and how I serve them. And seeing yesterday on that call, so many of the women that are in both of my programs, they are seeing that the journey, the, the success path with me and what I can help you do is figure out how to be the absolute best PR professional possible so that you can crush it for your clients and then and, you know, refine those skills if you have an agency or come up with the concept for how to start, grow and scale an agency, depending on where you are. I have a lot of women that have been running agencies for 10 years and they're in my agency accelerator or they're in my mastermind and now they're scaling to multiple six figures running it more lean and more time effective and so it's like whatever phase you're in i have people that i'm teaching pr to and they're going like i could really do well offering this as my agency service teach me how to run the agency so it's learn pr and then let me teach you how to run your profitable agency so systems, processes, frameworks, content, learning all around what you need to be a successful agency owner. 
So that's the path. Let me teach you how to learn PR, come up with timely, relevant. Brittany's in there. Um, you guys are seeing, Aga's in there. Um, you're seeing that this is a really effective way to sharpen, refine, hone your skills, elevate your expertise, provide the most amazing service possible for your clients, which is what the agency accelerator is based on. It is giving you consistent, predictable, recurring retainer revenue. And I give you the whole framework for how you do that. And then leverage the results you get for bigger, more, um, you know, bigger, juicier retainers, bigger clients, all of that. There's a whole framework for that. So that's the side of the business that I've been looking to build for probably seven years. And it took a little while to get to the point where we get what our audience wants and how we can give it to them. So you can think about doing that for yourself as well. And now you have a leveraged offer because what it allows you to do is create an asset once. I mean, it's not, I'm not here to say like, oh, it's so easy and, but you know, it's simple. It's not easy, it's gonna take work, but it is simple. You put together your process, your unique approach, your framework, you know, your secret sauce and create a process around it. Create, record yourself doing it, record the screen and save that. And then when, you know, your audience needs something from you, rather than doing it every single time for each different person, you can, you know, offer them your process. And then you have a leveraged offer and, you know, you can have a one to many offer. And if you think about something that's bound by your time, if you're doing one on one, you're limited by how many people you can fit into those hours. But if you do a one to many group coaching experience, something like that, you now have something you can leverage. And I am all about leveraging my time. That is the number one um, factor of success for me is being in control of my time, managing how I spend my time, who I work with, all of that. And that was like leaving law and starting my agency. The number one thing was now I'm in control, right? So the agency side for me is still running great. It's awesome. We have new business leads. I have a new sales call tomorrow. Like we're still getting stuff coming our way, but that's not by accident. We have built these processes to make that business work. And I realized nobody shares that stuff. So I thought this has worked for me and it's worked for other women I've, I've coached all over the world. Why not leverage that and create a process that will help more people, that will help other people have this kind of dream flexibility, be a present and checked in parent, all of that stuff. Um, run an agency that they love that doesn't run them, attract their ideal clients, demand premium retainers. Like I can teach you all of that, right? So I thought, look at all the people that I can help by putting this into a complete system and offering it. And now I do like once a month coaching. Um, I have my son going, yay. Basically they're in their like last 15 days of school, which is insane that we're like three weeks out from summer. My husband and I are like, how did that happen? Um, but you know, again, they're not going to school through the end of the year and who knows about the fall, but it's just crazy that we are like already to the end of the school year. Um, so leveraged offers will allow you now with my pitch lab, the membership. Oh my God, we're having the best time creating this program, building the content, talking to the audience, hearing their feedback, seeing it in real time, um, coming up with new ways we could make it even better. And so far we haven't had anybody leave. They haven't come in and been like, this isn't for me. Um, you know, so it's been really exciting and I see the potential of this. And it's like, this all started by realizing I had expertise to share and realizing who I can serve and how I can serve them and creating an audience and then selling them, you know, access to these things that will make their businesses better. So that's a leveraged offer. And those are the two sides of my business. And the very first thing that you would probably want to do is create an audience, find your first 100 leads. So my mentor, I obviously to learn all of the stuff, I have selected the people that 
have the businesses that look as similar to the business that I want to have as possible. And I check into their approach. I check into their um, philosophies um, and my mentor that I am the most deeply um, invested in and connected to is James Wedmore. I've been on his podcast a few times. I don't know if anybody has seen it or heard it, um, but he has a really, really great podcast called Mind Your Business. And I love that his content is very centered around mindset and, um, you know, it's, it's the both sides of the business. It's the like rational, logical, tactical things, and then getting your you know, figuring out what's blocking you, figuring out how to move past limitations and getting into the right kind of mindset. I know that's an overused word, but I teach that in my programs as well. I was just chatting with somebody else on DM who told me she feels like a fraud. That's imposter syndrome. We tackle that in our programs. Like we have gone through a lot of research to figure out how we can get you unstuck and moving forward. And a lot of that came from my mentor, James Wedmore. I'm in his mastermind, his inner circle mastermind, um, with a lot of people that, you know, you probably have heard of online, like Tyler McCall and, you know, the, 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 like the awesome online entrepreneurs, not like the scammy spammy, like standing in front of their Lamborghinis and making it rain. Like that's not my people. Um, but J and I pay $30,000 a year to be in James's inner circle mastermind. And I would say, it is worth every single penny and then some um, to have access to somebody like that that's supporting me. So he is offering a program called Your First 100 Leads. It's free. We have a link here. I'll put it again in the comments. But literally, like you have nothing to lose by signing up for this and just starting to check into the concept of creating a leveraged offer and starting by having an audience that you can pull, that you can serve, and he will help you do that. But today I wanted to talk about, I've hinted at some of the types of leveraged offers, but I also said I was gonna give you the number one thing, that's the, you gotta start with an audience, okay? So that training is free. He will help you figure out how to find your people, how to get them into your universe, whether they come into a, an email list or a Facebook group or whatever. Um, but some, leveraged offers, I've already hinted at some, you may have your own content creation process. And I, you know, people really struggle, even the pros yesterday on the call, one of the women in the agency accelerator said she really struggles with creating content for her own social channels. And if you have a process for how people can easily and seamlessly create content, you can create a little process around that package it up and sell that in a repeated way. You can sell it as a, we call it a tripwire. Basically somebody opts into something free from you. They give you their email address and then they see an immediate offer for something that's deeply discounted for a limited time. I have a tripwire product um, called Media Magnet. So you sign up for a, a media checklist with me and you, you know, we sell Media Magnet for $497 and you get access to it for 15 minutes for $47 and that pays for it pays for the ads we use to run it. So we that's called a self-liquidating offer, super super simple to set up. Now is easier than ever to do this type of online business. And I'm not saying like choose one or the other, you can do both. Like I absolutely no matter what will still be running my agency. That is what puts food on the table, pays for my mortgage that is where we get the bulk of our of our income. But I feel that I can help so many people through these other leveraged offers. Um, but it is, you know, you gotta run ads and find your people and that tends to be expensive. You create some kind of inexpensive content creation process or thing that you package and sell and that pays for the ads, right? So that's called a self-liquidating offer, we have that package your process for how you create content and show people how they can do it themselves, okay? Um, another thing you can do is um, a social media audit. So if you have a process where you dive into, into accounts and you know where to look for the, the data, the metrics, how to read the metrics, go on your screen, I use, um, Loom, their screen flow, I use Ecamm, it just depends, I'm on a Mac, but you can use Loom and record yourself 
looking at a screen and see a picture of yourself on the corner. And you can walk through that process and say, okay, first you're gonna look here. This is the data, uh, pull this number, put it into this spreadsheet that I've created for you. And now you're selling a process and you're selling a template and, um, and you're um, putting it all together in a way where people can do it themselves. So instead of you taking the two or three hours to do those social media audits, you're teaching others how they can do it and packaging that process and selling it to many people. Um, Jane is asking me if my team works at my house or their own homes. I have people all over the world that support my businesses. So they all are working remotely. My integrators in Rhode Island, I have my, um, my right-hand person in my PR agency is in Austin. Um, some of my freelancers are pretty close by and they'll come by and we'll kind of powwow if we need to. Um, I have another that's down in Redondo Beach. We love, would love to get together more, but she has a baby and another on the way. So my team is kind of all over the place. Back in the day, I used to have people come into the office more, um, but we have them as freelancers and they are also corporations, right? So the freelancers have set themselves up as corporations um, and they work remotely. So I don't direct them. They're really truly independent and that's so that I can have them as 1099 um, people in my business. That's another thing. If you wanna have people as 1099 versus W2, you need to talk to your accountant, accountant about the best way to do that. But that's how we set it up. So because they're all corporations, they're all incorporated, I'm able to do that. Um, so good question, but that's how we do it. Um, so other types of leverage offers, that social media audit is a really good one because you literally record yourself doing it and create like a spreadsheet or some kind of template they can plug their numbers into and you've just completely made your life easier and theirs. Um, another thing that you can consider putting together as a PR professional is how do you create pitches? This is my pitch lab, right? But how do you share that with somebody who's maybe not a professional and help them kind of extract their most interesting characteristics? We were I was chatting with another member over DM who said, I'm really great at telling stories and seeing people's like true story. That is such a skill. And if you can teach people how to find the gems and the nuggets and how to put their story together, how to position themselves, what the approach is, creating a pitch, you know, you can package that and sell that up too. If that's your secret sauce and you're really, really good at it, you have to keep in mind too, you can teach all of this. No one is gonna be you. Nobody's gonna like take your job. Please do not enter this with a scarcity mindset of like, well, if I reveal my secrets, then I, you know they're gonna take it and take opportunity away from me. If I had that mindset, oh my God, I would be stuck in neutral with no, you know, no digital business whatsoever. I literally give my entire process from how we do PR for our retainer clients, every single possible thing that we do to help make our services the absolute best, plus my agency, how I find clients, what I ask on calls, here's my proposal, here are the processes we use. This is exactly how I'm prospecting new business. This is how we onboard our clients. That's my absolute secret sauce. And if I had a scarcity mindset, like, God, if I give this away, then people are gonna still work for me. I wouldn't be anywhere. So you have to keep in mind, there's so much to go around. Please have an abundance mindset and realize that the more that you share, the more people you help, the more that comes back to you. I promise you that's the case. So you can put your secret sauce together and people will never be you. They're never, I could teach somebody exactly what I do and they can go after the exact same kind of clients that I do, baby and kids, beauty and cosmetics, health and wellness, and be like, those are my niches. Great, there's enough work to go around and you'll never be me and I'll never be you. We're totally different and will attract different types of clients, right? So that's an abundance mindset and I promise you there's enough to go around. So share what you know how to do so you can serve more people and then save yourself time, you know, have better ROI with these leveraged offers. There's also um, coaching and consulting VIP days. So that's a high ticket offer. You can have that kind of the top of your pyramid, pay a ton of money for a one-on-one -on -one where it's a complete implementation day, a VIP day um, where you're just, 
giving them the whole strategy and giving them the approach to do it themselves or working through it and implementing it together. Um, you could create graphics templates. We've all seen people selling Canva graphics or um, in creative, what is it called? Creative market. Um, they're selling different, um, you know, t stories templates. There's Jasmine Starr, who used to be in James Wedmore's mastermind, but now she is no longer. But she created Social Curator, which is now more than uh, more than million dollar business a year. It's a membership, and she's giving you Instagram templates like stories templates, caption templates. I was just showing my membership, my uh, my agency accelerator students what that program looks like, so they can consider whether they want to sign up for it. But she created templates and photos that she's selling to quite a few people. And that's a leveraged, you know, one to many offer that she has that is very, very profitable, right? So think about things like that, you, your process. My um, studio photographer that I use, who's incredible, she has um, a, a new program she's offering called Slay the Flat Lay. And um, she is showing people how she does her photo shoots. And again, you know, she is revealing a lot of secrets, really cool things that she knows how to do, special things that she can do in her photography studio that people may not understand, like, oh, that's how you got that shot. And she's helping so many people and it only elevates her expertise, right? By me coming here and teaching PR to professionals. And it's not just me, I have a team of people that are giving all of the best strategies and approach to help me develop the con the content because I don't I don't know everything I don't know crisis comms I don't know promoting experts as well as other people um, you know I I know uh, consumer products right that's like my jam I don't know like food PR restaurant PR but I have a team of experts I can ask and they will lend their voice and their know how to serve my audience so because I've put this together. And I've come out and I've said, I'm a PR expert and I'm an expert on how to run an agency because I've been doing it for 15 years. We've been pro profitable every single year. We support billion dollar brands. That makes me an expert, right? Like if I can teach you something you don't know, then it's, you know, then that's something that's worth kind of checking into so you can learn and grow your expertise. So now because I'm offering these services, I have the profitable PR pros group that also elevates my profile as an expert. So by you sharing your know-how, you are declaring you're the expert. And you may feel really weird about that. You may be like, oh God, you know, who am I? Or I'm new at this, or, you know, I feel uncomfortable checking into that. That's kind of imposter syndrome creeping up and making you feel like what you know how to do isn't enough, okay? and a lot of what I've heard in this digital world is be one step ahead of your audience, right? If you've done something and you've had success and you can teach someone how to have success too, or your story, your approach, your um, outcomes, show people what is possible for them, you're in the game to teach it, okay? So because I've run a successful agency, I show, the other thing is like, I show what is possible right? So because I started this agency with no formal training, no contacts in place, and now we are where we are, I can show people, hey, you know, you don't need to have XYZ in place in order to step into a role as a leader of an agency because I did it and I can show you how to do it too. So my journey shows people what's possible for them. And I will tell you, we, this came up on the call yesterday, a lot of people that pisses them off because they feel like it's somehow where I'm a fraud or I'm trying to scam people into thinking that, you know, um, they can do it too when you really have to go work at an agency for years and pay your dues. That is them. That's an old school mentality of people feeling like because they had to struggle and suffer and pay their dues and do the grunt work, you have to do it too, you know? And that's one way to go about it. That's fine. But and they also have that culture of like agencies are um, you have to like pay, be a junior person and do the grunt work and pay your dues and agency life is competitive and cutthroat. And like I never experienced that because I never worked at an agency. I just decided to start my own one day. So I can teach you a different way. I can teach you a better way.
like a woman inside my um ma- my mastermind Shauna who now supports me in my PR agency you know she has come out and said I didn't realize there could be a different way I only knew what I knew from agency life and you know it was like life changing to see that I could set my business up and have it be a different culture and a different approach so your success, your outcomes are proof of what is possible for other people. Keep that in mind. If you did it and you can show them how you did it and they can implement and have a similar outcome, you can teach that to people. But the first thing you need is to build your audience and sign up for this free 100 leads and you'll get just off to the races of building an audience and then you can ask them what they want from you and how you can serve them and you know that is the absolute best first place to start and how you make this happen so and in a time like this everyone says time like this these uncertain times it's really good to have a diversified business the online learning space the e-learning space is absolutely booming right now people are finding themselves wanting to train and invest in themselves and grow grow their expertise, learn other avenues for earning an income. If you can help them do that, you're in the game. So think about how you can lend your expertise, who you want to serve, how you can serve them. You may not even know, and that's okay. Sign up for this 100 leads class, totally free, and he'll help you figure out how you bring in the right leads. And that could be thinking about things like your niche as well. You may not know, and that's okay, because you can go through this process and figure out who you can serve, and then figure out what they want to know from you. Don't do like I did and say, well, I know what people want to know from me because this is what I know how to do and I'm really good at it. People didn't want to learn PR, you know, and implement it themselves for me. They just didn't. Um, My course did okay. You know, we had people sign up and had amazing results, but it wasn't, it just didn't, my passion is teaching PR professionals. I want people to run businesses that light them up. I want people to implement PR and be so just jazzed and pumped by the amazing results they get for their clients. That lights me up. So maybe it was me not being as passionate about teaching entrepreneurs how to do it themselves. But now that we're teaching PR pros and the pitch lab and then having them run successful businesses in the agency accelerator, I am like on fire. I'm so excited every day. I'm like, what else can we teach these people? What else can we give them? How can we make this better? How can we make this the best possible resource out there? And we are on our way. Like it is just, I'm so proud of it. So, um, you know, and that's where that passion comes in and you become a magnet for your tribe. When you know exactly who you serve and how you serve them and what they want to know from you and how you can give it to them, you become a magnet. They want to be part of it. So start with your first 100 leads training. I dropped the link here. It's James is awesome. He is the real deal. His business made about um, $9.4 million last year. Um, And he knows what he's talking about. So I'd listen to him. So anyway, thank you guys for being here as always. Be be well and please let us know how we can support you. Um, And if you want to know more about our programs, drop a drop a comment and we will take care of you. Okay, guys, be well. Chat soon.